Okay. This is going to be a particularly angry video. This is going to be a rant. I haven't done a rant in a while, so please excuse me, but I'm... There's something I really need to fucking talk about, and that's Call of Duty. I, I'm a fan of Call of Duty, okay? I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I like Call of Duty. There are games I hate as well. You know, I think Vanguard was the biggest piece of shit they've ever released. But hey, you know what? One of the modern Call of Duties, Cold War, is in my top five CODs of all time. I love Cold War. Cold War is one of my favorite Call of Duties. You know, Modern Warfare 2 last year was a great surprise. The campaign was phenomenal. The multiplayer was decent at launch. It was an enjoyable experience. I gave it a high review. But what made Modern Warfare 2 so exciting last year was the promise that Activision gave gamers that this would be skipping a year. Call of Duty would not be releasing in 2023. This Call of Duty was going to be on a two-year life cycle. No new Call of Duties. None. They told us. No new Call of Duty until 2024. Two years. And then recently, it was confirmed by Activision that Modern Warfare 3 will be releasing this year. And of course, all the fucking Call of Duty fanboys that fucking obsess over Call of Duty like Griffin Gaming and all them are getting their getting so excited over Activision again, breaking their fucking promises to gamers after they just told us, hey, we're skipping a year. We're going to put additional dev time into the next Call of Duty. And now you're going to go back on your word and put Modern Warfare 3 out this year when that could have waited till easily 2025 or 2026. It could have waited. But no, I guess Modern Warfare 2 didn't make you enough money. Did, or did, were you scared of not making more money? I, I'm confused. You're being bought out by fucking Microsoft. You're going to have money, right? Fucking $70 billion you will have. But no, I guess slapping the people that you promised in the fucking face about skipping a year for Call of Duty is... is what is that? What? I don't understand. And look, I wouldn't be as pissed if they weren't charging full price. But they're charging 70 fucking dollars from MW3, which is going to be just a glorified fucking DLC because they already rebranded Modern Warfare on Xbox to just Call of Duty. It's going to be a hub for all future games. So what you're telling me is you're charging 70 fucking dollars. For a game that you told us wasn't coming out for a while. 70 fucking dollars. You know what you can do with 70 motherfucking dollars? You can go buy Spider-Man 2. You can go buy Starfield. You can buy any other new AAA release. You can go buy Hogwarts Legacy. You can go buy Dead Space Remake. You can buy the Deluxe Edition of Resident Evil 4 Remake. Instead of paying $70 for what is going to be Modern Warfare 2 2.0. It's only Sledgehammer fixing all the bullshit that they fucking put in the MW2's Season 2 and on content. Because Infinity Ward only did Season 1. I guess they wanted off that boat. I don't know because Sledgehammer jumped in and took over. And I thought that Infinity Ward got off so they can develop the next Modern Warfare, but I see now that it's fucking Sledgehammer who just had a fucking miss with fucking Vanguard. And they've been fucking up seasons two and on of MW2. The only good thing they added is what? Snoop Dogg and the boys? That, that's it. What, they're adding Cardi B and I mean, I'm sort of excited for 21 Savage, I guess. But you're literally putting one of the worst Call of Duty developers in charge. I get it. They developed the original MW3. And I don't know if that was a different team back then. Because the only two Sledgehammer Call of Duties I truly enjoyed were original Modern Warfare 3 and fucking Advanced Warfare. That was it. This is fucking bullshit. And as a Call of Duty fan, I was so excited for them to be skipping a fucking year. 
because that will at least show like, hey, we're going to put more focus on Call of Duty, put more dev time to it. Nope, that's out the fucking window because fuck you, give me goddamn $70 for a Modern Warfare 2 2.0, please. It, it's not even going to be fucking Modern Warfare 3. What's it going to have? It's already confirmed it's going to have some new maps, some fan favorite guns, and a new campaign. Wow. Boy, let me tell you, that, that, that is definitely worth 70 motherfucking dollars. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, Activision? You know what? I'm putting a stand. I am not buying Modern Warfare 3. I am refusing to buy it. If you're expecting a review of that game from me, you're going to be sorely disappointed because I am not going near MW3. I'm going to wait until Treyarch's fucking release. I'm going to wait until Infinity Wars next release. I am done with Sledgehammer at this point after the dog shit release of Vanguard. And I don't care how many fucking Vanguard fanboys defend that piece of shit. Especially Griffin, who got butthurt over someone critis the anime criticizing Vanguard when it is the biggest piece of shit Call of Duty and last with more content. Shut the fuck up. What, what content did it want? Different variants of the fucking maps? Ooh. The only good thing Vanguard did, and this is not an opinion, this is fucking fact, the only good thing Vanguard did was match pacing. And guess what? That didn't fucking work half the time because everyone plays Call of Duty in the same fucking way. Run and gun. No, let me rephrase. Two different ways. Run and gun and camp. That is Call of Duty in a nutshell. Match pacing does fuck all except make the map smaller and the players smaller or make the maps bigger and the players larger. That, that's all it fucking does. Who fucking cares? As I said, I'm done with Call of Duty. I'm done. As a fan, I'm waiting until next year's release. I'm going to wait until Treyarch puts out their fucking Call of Duty. Because at least I know Treyarch is going to put out somewhat decent to excellent Call of Duty. Because the only bad, really, Call of Duty they had was Black Ops 4. And even still, they had Blackout mode in that and Zombies mode in that. That were pretty fucking fun, in my opinion. I am done with, with Call of Duty this year. I'm not paying 70 goddamn dollars for a fucking glorified DLC at this point. I'm done defending Call of Duty at this point. I'm done defending Activision. I'm done defending. I'm, I'm done watching my favorite franchise I've had since I was a kid spiral out of control because of money, greedy, money hungry, greedy fuckers the head of Activision that promised fans one thing and then say, fuck you, give us 70 more dollars for a glorified fucking DLC. But, but wait, if you want early access to the beta and early access to the campaign, like we did MW2, that's going to be 90 to 100 fucking dollars. Fuck you. I'm not buying your piece of shit. You can fucking admit you're not getting my money for this game. No. Fuck you. Fuck Call of Duty. Fuck Activision. Fuck Sledgehammer. I am done dealing with this bullshit from one of my favorite franchises. I'm done dealing with it. I'm done. I'm tired of every time I get excited for a Call of Duty like I did with Vanguard, I get fucked in the ass. I'm tired of every time Activision makes a promise to gamers and say, we're skipping 2023, next Call of Duty is 2024, and they literally bend us over and fuck us in the ass because they can fucking do that. They will take your fucking money. And any Call of Duty fanboy that's defending this bullshit saying, at least we're getting a new Call of Duty. Go fuck yourself. You're the reason why this franchise is going down the fucking toilet. That is not fucking opinion. That is a goddamn fact and you know it. You are the ones that pay out money for fucking bullshit in Call of Duty all the fucking time. $20 blueprints every fucking time, right? All these fucking Call of Duty YouTubers that are building hype up for MW3 when they should be fighting against this bullshit after they broke a promise to us as Call of Duty fans. Fuck you. Ran over. I'm I'm done. I'm I'm just fucking done.